I'm 24 female, two years ago, cheated on my then-boyfriend, 27 male, no husband, and the guilt and remorse is eating me alive. I confessed last Saturday that two years ago, we've been together, six years married for one. I made out twice and sexed a picture of my breast to an old co-worker before. I cheated because I was really lonely in our relationship and I really enjoyed the attention. Stupid, I know. And my husband, at the time, boyfriend, wasn't giving me the attention I needed, seeing as he was busy and never had a time slush energy. But since we've moved across the country, got married and graduated college, and started our careers, then could not be better. It really hit me how stupid and selfish I was last week, and I was overcome with physical anxiety and guilt, and I fessed up and told him everything. But it, I broke his fucking heart. And I can't believe I did it, but he's willing to work on our relationship. He said, He's not leaving. I'm overcome with grief and guilt and anxiety, and it's just too much to deal with. I don't know what to do to overcome this. I want to move on so I can be there for my husband. But I just physically don't know how to stop punishing myself. I've been throwing up and haven't eaten in days. I'm afraid I'll end up in a hospital if I can't get it together. How do I let go of the ugly guilt and remorse so I can be there for my husband? Just want to say, as someone who has been cheated on, it is here for me to read that some cheaters feel this bad. I am not being a smart ass or sarcastic either. I can tell you it helped me to see and hear my wife's remorse as well. What you can do is continue to be remorseful, answer his questions, and say you are sorry so much he thinks you are Canadian. No joke, we can't hear this enough. And try to be understanding as he works through this shit, it's a rough roller coaster. Seriously OP, you are so fucking selfish. As slash you slash b i t b u c k e t 87 said, this isn't about you and what you have to deal with it's that you cheated on your husband on multiple occasions and didn't confess until recently. This is about dealing with his pain and dealing with what it takes to get him through this. So I suggest you start re-evaluating yourself and start acting in a less selfish way. I'm so racked with guilt good, you cheated on him you should feel guilty. Especially that you essentially lied to him in order to get him to marry you, he didn't know he was marrying a cheater. Is this sinking in? It's not about you, it's about him. So put your big girl pants on and start being there for him. Your shit is just superficial fallout from a shitty thing you did. Stop making it about you and stop blaming him. How do I let go of this ugly guilty and remorse you don't? You should feel guilty, you should feel remorse. Your remorselessness got you here in the first place. You know that cheating was selfish. I wasn't getting the attention I needed. Your reason for hiding it was selfish two years and getting married in between. Your reason for telling him was selfish I was overcome with physical anxiety and guilt. Your reaction after is also selfish don't know how to stop physically punishing myself. How did you keep from feeling sick and guilty for the past two years? Why did you think that you still deserve to marry him without having told him the truth? I would tell you to stop looking at yourself, how this affected you, how you're feeling, how you can fix it. If you want your relationship with your husband to work it needs to be about we and us. Realizing that you created a situation where your husband may become a little selfish while he works through what you did. But if you can focus on we in your marriage then I believe he will get through it. You will find yourself being patient when he shows difficulty trusting you, you will talk to him when you find yourself getting lonely, you will find yourself becoming a better person. Now quit thinking that punishing yourself will make this better. Take a deep breath, stand up straight, accept what you did, and with courage tell your husband what you will do. You're a sharp piece of glass hidden on a sunny beach. And unfortunately your husband is the unsuspecting soul who just stepped on it and needs to go to the emergency room immediately for surgery. A lot of his comments are too brutal and self-righteous. Considering the high percentage of people that actually cheat, it's a good chance it can happen. Sex is an innate desire like food, and both are incredibly difficult to refuse. Humans are fallible. OP is human. Therefore OP is fallible. Good luck patching things up. I hope eventually your husband sees your confession as your attempt to make your marriage stronger by being honest and keeping no secrets. At least you confessed. 
you need counseling and forgiveness and they both take time. Continue to do right things, don't do wrong things, and follow through with counseling for yourself and for your marriage. If your husband loves you and is a decent man, he'll eventually be able to forgive you and you'll be able to forgive yourself. There's no magic formula. It takes time and willpower. Despite your mistakes and the pain you've caused, you're still a good person. You did the right thing in the end, so try to remember that. It may not save your marriage, but it was the right thing to do. Forgiving yourself will help save your marriage, so that's your goal. Counseling will help.